everyone, and welcome to another Ants Bennett episode. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been a while because it's been Christmas, New Year's, and Happy New Year. Anyway, today we're going to look at some of my bugs and the presents I got for Christmas. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so this is my sew bugs enclosure. Now the sew bug is right over here. And you're, if you're wondering what, uh, what kind of bug this is, this is, this is actually in the isopod family. It is actually a type of crustacean, not really an insect. Or, yeah. Alright, so here it is. Now this is, there are a few types of soul bugs here in New Jersey. I find some on hikes, I find some in my yard find some at the park all right so this is an enclosure it's just a little solo cup as you can see here there it is all right so we're gonna move on to my next bug so this is another enclosure this one also has so bugs and a couple slugs actually we're not going to be holding the slugs today but I'll sh be more than happy to show you my sew bugs. So, like I said, there's different types of sew bugs. And my other one was like whitish, kind of, like a silver or white. This one's like a black and some white. I find the this type on a hike, my go to. So, here's this little face. Hold on, let me focus. Alright, so there's... So there was, there was slug eggs. And they did hatch into slug babies. But I, I actually put the baby slug somewhere else. So we're going to look at that in, in a few minutes. Let's just go on to the other bug. Alright, so here I got my beetles. I'm not sure where they are right now, actually. Oh, yep, they're right there, right there. Okay. Here they are. And I believe these are burying beetles. I have I have them in my bug guide. I think I showed you my uh, bug guide when I did my birthday gifts video. And it has all these cool bugs and stuff. And I found what type of beetle this is. I'm not sure if they can fly because... Uh, a lot of beetles can fly. All right, so so this is the enclosure. It just has a couple like rocks and leaves and stuff, and some soil in case you want to dig. All right, so let's move on. So here I got my newt. I caught this newt like on a hike, like in the woods. And I'm sure you guys recognize this. Uh, a critter case from the Nature Bound bug kit that I got. So here is the newt. Here it is. I named it Newton. And you and these guys are common like by streams and stuff and the damp places. I know this channel's like on ants and bugs and stuff, but I like showing other things as well. Alright, so this is this enclosure. It's just like some logs. And then some like rocks and stuff. I cut some wood chips from my wood bin. All right, talking to you guys about my slugs. Let me first show you my adults. So these are the adults. I'm not sure if these are, I don't think these are the parents for the babies, but these are still pretty cool, huh? So I'm keeping them in here because I don't really have any other enclosures. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the baby slugs. Here they are. 
here's the baby see so right here it's, look at it compared to my hand it's really tiny i'm not sure what type of slugs these are because it's not easy to tell because you know babies are a little bit more albino so you can see it here and i have something else to show you here is my daddy long legs i actually caught this like in my house because i have spiders in my house and a lot of people do and i actually caught this like in a web i don't usually keep daddy long legs so i'm not sh really that sure how to keep them i'll definitely keep you updated on this spider so i have some a little bit of bad news Remember this, uh, my last video on how to rehouse a spider? Well, that spider that I rehoused, his name was Bandy, and he he died. I mean, she died. I'm not sure if he was a male or female, but she died. I guess her enclosure was, like, too dry, maybe. Because I never really kept fishing spiders. I've kept wolf spiders. If you're wondering where I got this meshing from, I got it from a package. Because some packages uh, come with meshing, and then I just use it. Alright, so now I'm going to show you my birthday gifts. I mean, not my birthday gifts, my Christmas gifts. First, I'm going to show you this cool ant specimen I caught. I mean, not I got. Sorry. Alright, so this is an ant specimen, and I believe it's the giant bullet ant which comes from Southeast Asia. Because if you live in like Malaysia, Singapore, Borneo, Thailand, you might find this species. Now let's look at the underside. Look at how cool this is, guys. This is like the, the biggest ants, one of the biggest ant species I know. All right, so... I also got this creature cup. It's just like a little mug kind of thing, kind of thing. And there's a built-in spider inside. Yeah. And I also got this for Christmas. So what what I also got this bug vacuum. And I am going to use it for some bugs and it comes with the LED light. It also comes with this. I'm not sure what this is for. Probably to like trap the bug or something. This is the suction tube. This is the suction booster. And then you're supposed to place the battery in here. And if you're wondering what kind of batteries these come with, it comes with some uh, 9V batteries. All right, so we're going to end this video. Subscribe and hit the like button and also hit the notification bell and make sure you share this video with a friend and you know the drill so enjoy the insects among us and i'll see you in my next episode bye guys